Welcome back to the show. Remember, this is Meet the HR Show with me, Sylvia Wanja, and we have architect Manasse in the house today. Yes, welcome back. Uh, so, uh, as an architect, uh, what happens, uh, how long does it take to um, create a design? Um, it depends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it depends with, uh, with the design, yeah. with the scope of work that goes into, uh, into the project that you have. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, it basically, it's just the design. Okay. So, what happens after you've created a design and someone steals it? Are there any copyright laws to like protect your work or your motto? Yeah, there are. Mm -hmm. There are. Yeah. There are. There, there are those uh, copyright laws that you know you must uh, you must uh, you know adhere to. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's like having a patent on your on your own work. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a good thing. Ah. Yes. It's so you thing. have to to license to uh, copyright. Yeah, your yeah. Work. You need yeah you need to copyright your mm -hmm. work. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what legal measures can you take if someone takes your work? Uh, basically, you know it's. It's quite, um, it's quite, um, I would say, a rough industry mm -hmm. in terms of uh, copyright infringements. Yeah. Uh, but basically, whenever you find someone do, uh, uh, who has taken your work mm -hmm. and, and, and is using your work, you're allowed to sue them. Ah, yes, by law. And get compensated. And get some compensation out of it. Yes. So a while back, you talked about softwares. Yes. Uh, that you use to create these models. Yes. So, would you uh, advise someone who is starting out as an architect yes. to draw manually or to uh, use the softwares? First, <laughs> <laughs> softwares are good. Yeah, they're really good. Uh -huh. uh, but first of all, do it on on the table. Yeah. Have like a have like a, en enhance your skills in terms of design work mm -hmm. on the table first. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Be uh, be super creative. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, on, on the table, mm -hmm. so that when you, whenever now you're going to uh, to the softwares, you mm -hmm. get an idea and and uh, you advance your skills more. Mm -hmm. But basically, start from uh, start from the table. Don't jump straight to <laughs> to the softwares. That mm -hmm. is now what we call card texture, mm -hmm. <laughs> or we just uh, you know it sort of brings that lazy tone. Mm -hmm. But uh, first of all, I would say st uh, start on the sketching table first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, design your work on the uh, on the table first, then mm -hmm. now go to softwares. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then there's this question of blueprints. Yes. Um, are you still the ones who prepare blueprints for uh, a structure? Mm, yes, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it's mostly printed. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, there's what we call a tracing paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the uh, 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 currently, I would say things are are advanced. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have straight blueprints, like we print them on uh, on, uh, on on papers that are in blue, uh, you know, uh, color. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, a while back, we used to have uh, tracing papers mm -hmm. and ammonia paper. Mm -hmm. So once uh, you've done your design, mm -hmm. you print it on a tracing paper. Then the tracing paper uh, gives up the blueprint. Uh, but currently, we have we have blueprints that are you know, you can print them. Uh, you can print your work directly on them. Mm. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. And from the model that you have created, does mm. it have to be exactly the same when it goes, uh, when it comes to construction? Uh, yes. Mm. Uh, <laughs> basically, I would say sometimes, <laughs> depending on a client, yeah. sometimes there are changes that arises on the ground. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that one, uh, uh, it's that some are minimal, some mm -hmm. are uh, not uh, minimal, mm -hmm. uh, and yes. So. Yeah, when you want to implement your design, it, mm -hmm. it's always good to uh, to adhere to the drawings. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, so whenever there's a change that is coming up, so that you can also get uh, a room for revision. Mm -hmm. Yes. And how long did you study the course? Uh, it takes about six years. Six years. Yes. <laughs> do do we have holidays in between? Or yeah. Just the six years flowing. No. We, yeah, six years. Yeah, we have holidays, mm -hmm. obviously. Yeah, yes. but it takes about six years. Six years. Yeah. For and you. and is there a shorter course that someone can pursue that still will touch on, on the course? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are diplomas. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there are also who guys who are doing building and constructions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are also a touch of architecture in terms of the, uh, in terms of uh, those courses. Mm -hmm. So the, there's a bit of a bit of it. Mm. Yeah, so you can you can pursue them also. You can start from there. I would mm -hmm. say you can do a diploma, then do a higher diploma, then do a degree. Mm -hmm. Yes, but it's important to do the whole degree. Yes, it's it's, it's also important to do the whole the whole degree. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that you can get everything in there. So yes, when you're not after shortcut, there's no shortcut. <laughs> a good six years, yes. and when you take the the certificate route, diploma, and it's even longer than the degree route, right? 
Uh, generally, it depends. It depends with the with, with, with school, or I would say the the, the model that is being offered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in terms of where you're studying. Yeah. Yeah. Some take two years. Some mm -hmm. are offering one year. Some are offering three years. So it depends. Mm -hmm. Yes. And after studying for the six years, mm -hmm. do you need like any refresher courses to like jog uh, your memory on what you've learned? Yeah, but basically it's on site. It's on the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So oh, you don't go back to class. Uh, you don't so go you back just to refresh class. wherever you yeah, are. Yeah. So you, you refresh it wherever you are. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. In terms of when now you putting yourself out there in the field. Mm -hmm. Yes. And are there any other courses that can complement architecture that are very necessary in the field? Um, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say uh, one of the few things you need also to understand are fundamentals of en engineering also, mm -hmm. like the basic, yeah. Yeah, the basic ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it goes along with me. Ah. Yes. And uh, do you think it's possible for someone to study the course online? I know it's, it involves a lot of practical work, a lot of, you know, creating the models from mm -hmm. scratch. Yeah. So do you think it's possible to actually hack it online? Um, I don't know, but uh, uh, it's, it's quite hard. You need to be physically, you know, in class mm -hmm. yeah, so that you can get the grasp of, uh, of the whole course. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, online, it's quite tricky because mm -hmm. uh, there, there, there are things that, you know, you'll have projects, you'll have, uh, you know, you'll have to interact with their, you know, with your... Uh, let's say like your course mates mm -hmm. so that you can you know get the designing uh, part of it mm -hmm. yeah so it takes it takes it takes it takes time but I would say online courses not really but you need to be in class physically mm -hmm. yes yes okay and what's the biggest project that you have done now do I say in terms of the design work or the scope of uh, <laughs> yeah you can, you can scope you can. of works or the amount of money involved uh, I think the money bit is uh, interesting, <laughs> 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 but let's go to structure wise. Ah, structure wise, I would say um, I've done I've done a project worth around sixty million. Wow. Yes. Sixty million. Yes, sixty million. When I grow up, I want to be an architect, <laughs> 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 but it's too late for me because uh, I barely draw. No, 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 no. You can still go back to school this time. This time, you can still go back. But to now school. I, ca uh -huh. I can't start from school because I do I don't know how to draw mm -hmm. well yet, so I have to start from mm -hmm. really down there, no, like it's from okay. the drawing. Yeah, it's okay. The world is uh, the world is limitless, so yes. you you can do it. You can still go for it. I can do it. I'll yes. Go back to school. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. uh. Yeah. So that's that's the biggest project that I've handled, mm -hmm. uh, about sixty a million. And what were you working on? Uh, it was it was a private home. Ah. Yeah. Ah. A private residence. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. That is that is very interesting. And and uh, uh, is there a time whereby when you're working and uh, your clients are not satisfied, how do you deal with that? Uh, basically, for me, one of my principles is mm -hmm. um, I tend to listen to a client's needs mm -hmm. rather than wants. Yeah. So that I, I tend to now to filter what a client needs, mm -hmm. and that's the time now I infuse my my my, my energy and mm -hmm. and w and what the client wants, mm -hmm. and then now we infuse it together. Then we I I I, I bring out my, the design mm -hmm. and give 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 the best the best uh, the best design. Ah. Yes. Okay, that's yes. beautiful. Yes. So let's go back to the sixty million. Yes. Guys. Yes. So uh, how do you determine how to actually charge uh, the people, uh, your clients? Um, basically, it depends. Mm -hmm. uh, there are those ones that you can charge them uh, in terms of the scope of works, in mm -hmm. terms of uh, the project cost. Mm -hmm. Yes, because uh, there's a certain percentage mm -hmm. that goes into that. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then there are those ones that come on a kulilia, mm -hmm. oh, this idea too, this idea, then you just, unafanya tu ile nyoneza fanya. Yes, but it's good to, to, to be strict and to have like a, to have a, li a have like a line of, a line of, uh, you know, fee that mm -hmm. you can charge. Yes. And do you think it's important for an architect who is just fresh out of school to get employed first or can they just like get out of school and start their own thing? No, I would say, go first so uh, work under someone mm -hmm. yeah work under someone who is established mm -hmm. so that you can enhance your skills yeah 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 the, 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 uh, there are a lot of things that goes into 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 you mm -hmm. first of all working under someone you get to enhance your your skills mm -hmm. you get to enhance your your customer uh, you know uh, 
whenever you're uh, whenever you're talking to a customer or okay. a client yeah. yeah it's always good from there you can you can learn on how to interact with different people because mm -hmm. yes uh, it's uh, uh, it's a good thing so working under someone you get to learn a lot mm -hmm. you get to learn a lot mm -hmm. now there from then once you once you're good now you can venture out and do do your own thing mm -hmm. yes yes and do you have to be passionate to pursue architecture or can you just pursue it because of the money <laughs> the money is good guys as you can hear. yeah you need to be passionate uh -huh. yeah you need to be passionate it. Mm -hmm. uh, for, for me, one it's it's one of the fundamental principles that I work I, I work with. Mm -hmm. That uh, every time I'm always I'm always looking to I'm always looking into trying new things, mm -hmm. trying new stuff. Yeah. Uh, yes, and just trying uh, trying to to better myself every single time. Mm -hmm. yeah, in terms of softwares, in terms of research, in terms of uh, current building trends, mm -hmm. and and so on and so forth. So you have to make sure you keep up with everything that's happening. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You, wow. need, you need to keep up with that. That is beautiful, guys. As you can hear, I am just getting my mind blown. I think I should just like switch careers, kidogo. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I love my job. I love what it is that I do. Mm. So, uh, Manasi, yeah. for someone who wants to pursue architecture mm -hmm. and is watching us right now at home, yep. can you talk to them, give them a word or two about the course and uh, yeah, encourage them to pursue it using okay. the camera? Um, you have time. Don't be afraid of uh, pursuing it. Uh, don't listen to naysayers, you know, the, all the negative energy, all the negative vibration about, oh, siju unajua ni kosungumu, siju kona maesabu mingi, taz, ji, you know, those stuff. But don't listen to that. Get, if, if, if you are really passionate and you want to pursue it, get into class and, uh, you know, uh, be driven by, 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 the fire that is in you in terms of designing and if you are super creative go for it don't 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 limit yourself wow that is beautiful so i know after this i am going for drawing classes because um, i'm about to take this thing seriously <laughs> of pursuing an architecture course at this particular point but there you have it i hope you guys have picked the important points and if you want to pursue architecture and you're passionate about drawing this is for you so make sure you pursue what is meant for you and remember here at Meet the HR show we say there is no luck in career but it's when opportunity meets preparation so go prepare for that course and we will see you in the industry remember there is room for you there is room for I there is room for everyone so go for what you want pursue your passion till next week same place same time my name is Sylvia Wanjar and this is meet the HR show only on MBCI TV bye